Macro photography is really cool and it's something I've always wanted to get into, but it's a bit out of reach in that you have to buy a special macro photography lens, or do you? These go in between your lens and the body and it extends out the flange distance of your lens so that the minimum focusing distance of the lens is shortened. The problem is, is that when you wanna to focus to infinity, meaning you wanna focus out on like a landscape or something far in the distance, you can't because the range of the infinity to minimum focusing distance for your lens now is pushed so far forward that you can no longer get it close enough to the sensor to actually reach infinity. That's why these things are cool, but if you're not doing macro photography like all the time, it's just gonna make your lens unusable for everything else. However, today I'm gonna to show you there's kind of a hack that I've not seen anyone talk about before that lets you get macro photography on any lens while it's also still achieving infinity focus. This is Dr. Quads and let's get right into it. Without further ado, here it is right here. This is the little guy that makes it possible. Now I first learned about this when I was looking into projector lenses and adapting them to a mirrorless camera. Now, a lot of people use these helicoid adapters to focus the projector lens because a projector lens doesn't actually have a focusing ring. As you turn this ring, the lens elements actually extend out farther away from the sensor. And the farther you go, the closer your focusing distance. What the helicoid allows you to do, if you put it in between your lens and the body, then you can extend out even further. And there's different size helicoids that go from a minimum to a maximum. This one is a 17 to 25, and it's the only one that I can use and still get infinity focus. I have an M42 extender as well that's six millimeters, and then a L-mount adapter to M42 that's one millimeters. It's important to note that some of these are too long to put in between your lens and your camera, and how that's calculated is by the flange distance. For example, I'm using the Takamar 85 1.8. The M42 lens has a flange distance of 45.46. However, the S5X and the L-mount has a flange distance of 20 millimeters. It's pretty easy. You just take 45.46 minus 20 equals 25.46. So that's actually the distance that you gotta have in between an old M42 lens and the S5 2X, or just the L-mount body. But let's go ahead and take a look at this in real life. So this is the Takamar 85 millimeter, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this out as far as the actual lens will go, and then you can see the minimum focusing distance. I'm at the back up here. What is the minimum focusing distance, which is right about there. Now that's definitely not some macro photography. It could look nice and mostly this is for portrait shots and that's gonna be close enough when you wanna to get to someone's face. However, if you wanna get closer, all you have to do is extend your barrel out. As you can see here, now my minimum focusing distance is right about there. And that's some decent macro photography. I am a little curious though, what the minimum focusing distance would be if I do something crazy like this and put all these extension tubes on, let's take a look now. It's dang near touching the lens. Yeah, that's pretty nuts, huh? Ooh, I need to clean my keyboard. That's kind of nuts, huh? Now, of course, these aren't actually free. In fact, what you want to do is buy a nice one because there's copper made ones and aluminum made ones and then there's brass made ones. And the brass made ones are a lot smoother. They have a longer lifespan. It's just better overall. You want it to be smooth because you actually have to turn the lens and because it's M42, it's a screw mount. So you have to tighten it up pretty good and then the helicoid needs to be smooth enough to where it's not like unscrewing the lens from the mount all the time because the one I bought that was cheap did that a lot. And since I got these brass ones, that never happened again. Well guys, I hope that helped and I hope that unlocks a lot of new creativity for you guys. This is Dr. Quaz and I'll catch you next time.